Hey, this is why we are back with Poly Bridge, and we're picking up right where we left off, which is the 12 meter low budget bridge, where we have to do a school bus over this nice and small section, which should be pretty easy. So we got the road done. We gotta throw some wood, so we do something like that. Middle part is supported. Now all we gotta worry about is these two right here and these two on the other side. And since it's a low budget bridge, I wanna try to keep this piece as close as possible to the upper part. So you see a very small gap here to save money. And I'm gonna try to keep it nice and symmetrical, doing it like that. And then we can attach it down here to support it properly. And if I go like that and like that, it should work if it's in budget and it is. Okay, good. I think this will work. It has full use of triangle power, except for the middle. Like the middle, I wasn't honestly that sure about. It looks like it needs um, some supports like here and here to actually work out. So what if we did supports there and took away the middle? Does it still work? Mostly just, you know, out of curiosity. Would this work as well? And yes, it would. Now, see, right now I'm thinking, you know what would make this a hundred times better? If it had a ramp. Problem is we don't have enough money for a ramp unless we go over budget or totally redesign the bridge, which I don't feel like doing. So instead, let's not do that and let's just move on to the next one, which is the 16 meter double decker. We got a budget of 32 or $32,000, I almost said $3,200, it's $32,000, we got a city car and a surface van, and we got wood, steel, and cable. Alright, let's go. So I guess, uh, first things first, roads. As far as I know, I, the cars just have to go in a straight line, so just one road, two roads. Done. That's the most important thing. And the next, I'm gonna use steel to try to support these edges right here. Cause that seems totally logical and I only had two pieces of steel so it's all gone right there just wasted well not wasted as long as it works so over here we'll do something like maybe uh, put up a triangular support system like so and then just go all the way across no oh, not crooked straight perfect and we go like this that should pretty much hold this up if there was more support so maybe if I, uh, let's see, how far down can these go? So it can't reach it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of these hanging from the roof of the other one to support the one below it, which sounds really counterintuitive and dumb. Probably is, but you know what? Maybe it'll work. If we go something like this, and then... It actually got triangle power. It's going to work. It got triangle power. I might need a little bit more supports on the corners here and there, but let's try it out and see what happens so far. Just so I get a good idea of what's happening. Alright, so definitely throw some supports where I thought. And the center part seems like it's holding up, so we'll see what that does in the end. Like, it might work, actually. I don't know. So we'll do, like, this. That gets the extra supports there. And I can throw an extra little support right there as well. And I think... Uh, let's see what that does. That might work. I feel confident that it has the chance. And it didn't quite work. It had a chance, though. I mean, I got pretty far, and then it collapsed. So, not that bad. How about if we also... Hmm. We got a support all the way over here, and we got cables, right? So let's use the cables and just go like that. Just to, like, hold it up. And... Perfect. That works. All right. Now, what can we do to have some more fun, though? We have $8,000 under budget, so we could do a lot of stupid stuff. Or, you know, for something different, we could do the opposite. Instead, try to cheapen the bridge out as much as possible and still have it functioning. That might be interesting, so I'm going to try to do that. So the first thing I'm going to try to do is just get this top road and make it shorter. It's going to look really awkward, but it might work out. So I'm just going to totally remove everything relating to the top section over here. Just... All of these things are gone. And now we're going to do this. We're going to grab the road. And we're going to put make it just drop down a little bit. And um, keep dropping it. Just little bit by little bit. Got to remove these supports here too. And by doing this, it should probably, I say probably because I think it'll be correct, become a little bit cheaper. Not in a real significant manner what's in any way really. But I think it'll be a little bit cheaper. So I guess I can keep dropping it down to there, drop this one down as well, and then straight across like that. 
And then we're gonna have to build some kind of awkward looking supports here So we'll keep the steel on the tops like so because that worked out pretty well and Then we could also say um, let's see does this reach good so we can Ooh, this actually is really good right here if this works so again, I'm iffy on these corners. I'm pretty sure they won't work. So I'm just going to, right from the start, just throw in a bunch of things everywhere to support that. Which probably is not cost efficient after I go through all this trouble of saying, Oh yes, this is going to be cheaper. That is not symmetrical either. Is that symmetrical? It's symmetrical-ish. That's a word. Symmetrical-ish. I'm just like slurring, basically. How do you work? Alright. I think that was cheap. No, that's about the exact same cost, isn't it? What was my last cost? Hold on, I gotta go check. I just checked. That was $600 more. I, uh, didn't exactly do that the way I should have, I guess. So. We need further cost reductions to reach my goal, which was to make it cheaper. So that was just the first, uh, part. Next part, we don't need this here. Get rid of that. It's, it's, it's useless. Instead, get some road and put it, um, like this. Yes, that'll work. Maybe. So if we remove these and make those road... Oh, this is going to be terrible. It's definitely going to save us money, though. Like, the money's... Look at this. It's $300 less than the original one. And I probably need, like, a support here. It's still slightly less than the original. Let's see. Will that hold? That stupid-looking design. Oh, it actually did... Yes. No. Red car, stop flipping. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, there goes the uh, cheaper. I mean, I could put in a little bit more road right here but then it's gonna be more expensive so yeah it's the exact same price now but at least the car will probably make it to the flag so once again um, I have failed to make it cheaper and I s come on oh perfect <laughs> I actually broke the bridge and made it at the same time that was actually pretty the way it looked all right my only chance at cost reduction is maybe these wouldn't be needed anymore and that is a big maybe if that's not needed, I save money. If they were needed, no money saved at all. Hold on, Bridge, you got it. I saved money! I accomplished my goal of saving money. All that to save a thousand dollars, basically, because that's high 18s, the other one was low 20s originally. Well, it's something. You know, I had a goal, I accomplished it. Barely. Whatever, works for me. Our uh, next one is the 12 meter drawbridge. We got a $29,000 budget. Vehicles are city car, station wagon, tugboat, and we have wood and pistons. All right, let's go. So for this one, we'll just start it off doing a very realistic build. So first road, of course, and then no, no, what the, I don't need a split joint there. Stop it. And now we're going to go ahead and build the bridge and we're going to do realistic. So that means triangles, nice, simple design right here. Get an across and then put something like that because I don't want to go inside of that box. In fact, that might be a little too close, but uh, I can always move it later. So we'll keep up a similar design like so. Hopefully this is symmetrical. It doesn't quite look it, but uh, yeah, it has to be. It looks it now. Just when it didn't have the pieces there, it was deceptive. So then we got to go over this. So we go something like this. Put it right in the center to keep it symmetrical and done if that's tall enough. It'll probably work, says YBR before everything falls apart. So I put it like that, and we probably need an extra support right here so we can use this joint as another support so we can put it there, connect it like that, and we can connect it up there for extra support. You know, I don't really know how much support this thing is going to need, so I'm just throwing it everywhere and hoping I uh, get enough by sheer luck, basically. <laughs> Not a good plan. Not a good plan at all. Uh, what else can we do with this? Uh, can we do, um... Because I know we need more than just that to support the bridge. So something like this, maybe? And then, like, that to make it symmetrical. Put something straight above. Okay, that's not quite straight, but whatever. Close enough to straight. Get lots of supports on it. And then throw some hydraulics on it. And, um... Well, let's just do a test run and see if the car can drive over it. And then we'll actually uh, put the split joint on. Alright, so it's at least good enough for the car. That is a positive. So let's go and split joints. Alright. How about the boat? Please. Work. Good. Well, did that open enough? No, it did not. Okay, right. How could I fix this easily? Um, here's what I'll do. I'll get rid of these hydraulics and I'll just expand them out to back there. 
I don't know if that'll mess up the structural strength of this, but it should make the bridge open up enough where the boat can get through. And we're $10,000 under budget, under budget if this works. That's actually uh, pretty decent to me, like for a quick first attempt. Whoa, that looked weird. That piece kind of glitched. Um, but it works so far. We gotta get this. What? No, stop doing weird things. Just that bridge is like falling apart in the middle, but you know what? It, it held up, and we almost had a 66.6% .6 max joint stress, which is always a fun number to have. But not quite. I'm kind of curious though. If I uh, made these. Oh, whoa. That's okay. That's the update or something. There was an update that made changes the way this thing works. But I was wondering if they dipped in the water, would it still work versus um, contracting? Like, I'm just curious if it'd work. That's all. So just put it 100% maybe and see what happens. I don't know if that's too much or what because I haven't actually messed around with that. I did read the change log which said something about that, but I was like, I just skimmed it. Hey, what the. You guys did not... Okay. So it needs to be more than 100%. Got it. Yeah, I, that, I, that was already a split joint. What are you talking about? So let's put it to like 120. I don't know. And I don't need to see this again. Go, go, go. Dip it. Oh, that does not work at all. Maybe it was too high. I don't know. We'll reduce it to like 110. Although it seems like... That's gonna be too high still, but 100 didn't even move. Oh god! <laughs> just was like, open close. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, enough screwing around with that. Let's just uh, go ahead and move on to the 42 meter suspension bridge. We got $84,000 in city car station wagon, wood, steel suspension, cable. Let's go. So, how long? Wow, 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 wow. I just keep zooming out and it's still no finish. Okay. So yeah, this is 42 meters, man. That's a long way to go for a bridge for me. My finger got tired just clicking across from there. Wow, that's, that's just ridiculous. All right, so let's see. First up, put a support like that. Match it up. Then we can get that one supported. That one supported. That one supported. And that one is supported. So it's something and probably will need some... Uh, cross strength like that and it's not actually reaching because I need to make it a little shorter so let's just make it one shorter so I can do that come on oh fine one more shorter I will have these crossbars whether you want me to or not there will be crossbars there we go do we need one up top right here what the heck why not so I can't make that any taller though nope that's as tall as we go all right same idea over here we'll start it off a little different though we're gonna go and then we bring it up. <laughs> Instead of trying to figure out what height it was before, I'm just like, forget it. We're just going to bring it up until it stops moving. Try to keep it symmetrical-ish. I don't think these are symmetrical from where it should be, though, so it's kind of awkward. Like, or is it? Let's see, one, two, three. Oh, it is symmetrical. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier. Not much easier, but a little bit. So let's see, we'll put something up here. Got to put it right in the middle. That's not in the middle, is it? There we go. Hey! They're supposed to move the camera, not delete all of my hard work and effort that I put so much struggle into. Alright, so now we have uh, suspension. This should be good. So we go across like that. Nice. And then we just throw some cabling down, like so. I guess I'll just kind of go. And over here we'll do the same. I don't know, like, if I should mirror it or have them all pointed the same way to for the stresses or what. I don't know the right approach for sure. So I'm just gonna mirror it for now. And um, will these sides hold up? Let's find out. I don't think they will. Nope, 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 nope. It's just a quick see, you know, get an idea of what's going on. I get a pretty good idea, I think. I don't need this to be so tall, do I? And apparently I do because the cables won't move. All right, fine. You can be that way. All right, anyways, we got all this money, so let's do this. Something like that. Is that going to hold it? Maybe. If we uh, mirror it up, it might. So we boom. Whoops. Mirror it. I said mirror it. Stop not clicking. There we go. All right, let's see. This is going to be very iffy, that's for sure. 
Very iffy. Oh my goodness, if this works. This is the sloppiest, wiggliest, wobbliest bridge in the world right now. No way it's gonna actually work. I... No way. No, why? How in the world did that work? <laughs> like, it looked like it was gonna fall apart at every second. And then it didn't. It's a miracle. It's a miracle that that actually held up. Oh my goodness. All right. Next one. Ooh, new feature unlocked. Drawing grid toggle. You can now choose to build your bridge without the grid. Why would I ever want to do that? I need the symmetricalness. I, I don't have symmetrical. It makes me insane. Whatever. I'll keep reading. Uh, using the button in the top bar menu. This gives you more precise control over the position of your joints while also allowing you to optimize and keep budget to a minimum. Beware, building without the grid makes it harder to maintain symmetry. Exactly! An important aspect in most load-bearing structures. You see? It's not a good idea. So this is the 14 meter double jump. We got $7,000, two cars, wood and cable, and it looks like, um... Well, this is, uh, interesting. They come at the exact same time. Which means I'm gonna have to have to have one of these taller than the other. Which is just gonna be awkward looking and not symmetrical at all after I was going through all this thing about, oh, we gotta have symmetry. Nope, not on this one. Thanks. It really is ironic, though. The second I start talking about symmetry and all that, it's gone. We can't do it anymore. Oh, well. So, what? Five roads? Oh, that makes it even weirder. So we have two on one, three on the other. Alright, so I'm thinking, let's see, if I have two and three, it should be two steep ones and then three not-so-steep ones? Dude, I don't know. I don't know, this is this is gonna be an awkward-looking thing, that's for sure, so let's see. Boom, boom, boom. And then, it's obviously just gonna fall. Right, it's just gonna, yeah. So we gotta throw, like, a cable on it, I guess? And then... Good. It's holding up and jumps? Fine. Now we just gotta do the other side. And somehow have it where the cars jump at different heights, so the easiest way I would assume is just do it a very, very not steep. That's probably too not steep, so maybe a little bit more steepness to it, so. Like so. I mean, I'm not clicking straight today, I'm just clicking crooked all the time. And then same thing, have a support up above. Oh, really? You're gonna say that now? So, Alright, fine, we bring it back. Get those supports in, very important things to have. And do something like this. Then we gotta throw a cable on it, and that should be okay. But we are over budget. I'll worry about that if it works. You know, at first I want to see does it work. No, the angle on all this is terrible. So let's see. First, to reduce the budget, I could do something like that, and maybe that'll mi change the way the bridge bounces. And no, it still is all awkward the way the car kind of comes off of that. So how about one up more? Because it's doing a wheelie. So if I put another up, it'll stop the wheelie oh well okay um that works i didn't really expect it to but it does and that's only 50 bucks under budget i wonder if i could reduce the budget at all if i said like take away that and replace it with wood can that even work sort of let's see so if i put this last section as cable i save a little bit of money but will it still work and okay Ooh, that one looked even cooler that way because he did a flip well, I don't really know where I could cut any more dollars out of this thing. Like, if I take any piece over here, it's just going to fall apart, I'm pretty sure. Like, there's nothing to support it. Of course it'll fall. Maybe if I can do just that. Yep, nope, that's not happening. Just this piece on the inside. Nope, not happening. So, yeah, that's um, pretty much at its uh, cheapest already for the design I used. You know, aside from doing an entire redesign, not much I'm going to be able to do here. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is 16 meter double drawbridge, which has two super vans and two small tugboats. We got wood, steel, piston cables. All right, let's go. So looking at this one, I see no reason we can't just make this a lot simpler. Yes, we could do something with four hydraulics or some nonsense like that, or we could just do something simple. Like this. We just go right over the boat. Like, they're almost at ground level anyways. It makes a lot of sense just to go right over them the easy way. I mean, we've done things where the cars literally fly, and that's what you're intended to do. So I don't think uh, making a drawbridge that is in any, sort, any way whatsoever a drawbridge is a cop-out. At least to me. Anyways, 
So we're going to go ahead and... What? Oh, making road. Whoops. It's supposed to be wood. So go ahead and uh, do that and then straight across. We're going to use wood on the top because we got to save money and I think it'll work. Maybe. I don't know. We will be finding out. Just like that. And then for this side, since we got a stretch, we use steel. And we probably want some supports under here, so go on. Well, since steel was selected, we'll use steel, and let's see. Oh, I thought it was going to work. All right. So if it broke right in the middle, what could a solution to that be? I guess we could change it out to be steel. Or we could also try to double up on things like that. Like, would that strengthen it up? And make it so uh, that piece right there got really red, but it looked like it was okay, and bus one is good. All the boats. Boats are good, and yeah. Why would you bother making something so overly complicated with, like, a drawbridge and all that nonsense when you could just do that? Oh, okay. That's why it didn't work still. All right, um, let me, let me change the way these are set up then. So keep using wood. That's not centered, is it? Eh, no going back on it now. So we'll go like this instead. That should support it a little bit better, because it was kind of having overlapping steel, which was not necessary. And then with this one, there we go. Small change, did what it was needed to do, we win, and the material pr footprint is 66.6 .6 meters. You know that was intentional. I totally planned that. No, I didn't. That was just crazy luck. Um, anyways, that's, I think, halfway through this section, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six out of 12 done. So I'm going to do the second half in another video. So until next time, this is YBR. Next, and um, looks like on the next one's going to be fun. But you'll have to wait for that. So I'll see you.